What's up guys, name is Dre and welcome to another Genshin Impact video and today we have part 3 of the Unreconciled Stars, the Star of Destiny. So all you have to do is play through the story so you do unlock the Star of the Destiny which I come to in a bit. So first I want to talk about this thing. So if you didn't do the Unknown Stars from uh, the last week and the Star of Disciple Dreams Definitely make sure that you do it. It gives 120 Prima Gems each and each and 60 of the Fading Stars might. Today they unlock the Star of Destiny. So definitely make sure to do this. It gives you another 120 Prima Gems. 75,000 Mora each. And this new Fading Stars Essence. So this you will need to buy the things in the event shop. Um, you can farm these for 40 resin so i'm pretty sure that you cannot use your condensed resin so you only are able to use your normal resin to do so don't make condensed resin and if you do so you can only use this for something else you get 200 adventure rank xp and 50 of the fading stars essence i do think that this scales with your world rank but we want to look at this in a bit um maybe let's take a look at the event shop first before we hop into the event so i just finished the story quest line after this I want to show gameplay of the new event for the first time so basically you can get any kind of talent books um, silver and above and of course the new important item the crown of sage so you we will be only able to buy one of the crown of sage so if you guys know you need this to get through talent level nine and above basically um you really have to commit to your characters now so if this stays like that if the crown of sagehood will be a event item in the future you only have the option to um, get this very limited through very limited events and that means that you only can use this really to characters that you really really are into so what I mean by that is for example let's say you invest into your dialogue and after this and after like a certain month you want to use another character but you really invested in his talents then you did use the crown of sage for a character that you did like so what i can recommend is maybe you want to save this up for now except if you are very very sure you want to unlock the talent level since talent levels are very strong they do give a very impact especially in the later stages of the game um you don't get too fast progression through other things like weapons and artifacts because uh, they are already maxed out so the only way to upgrade your characters or to give them a power spike is through the talents therefore i definitely would at least recommend to buy out the crown of sagehood if you are asking yourself is it worth to buy out these yeah it is definitely worth your resin reason being that is let's say four of these and you get per run you get 50 of the um uh, of the fading stars essence and 50 means that you can buy this out 12 times yeah you can buy this out 12 times with a run and that's pretty huge so if you do a normal run you can only uh if you do a normal run in a dungeon let's say okay let's say you do a normal run in forsaken rift where today you can find teachings of freedom usually you get like if you're lucky you get like two of the brown ones and two of the silver ones which are four books at the end which are like two and two third of the silver ones so around two to three silver ones after two runs you have like five of the silver books and if we're looking at this you can get these buy these out way faster so i would definitely recommend to buy out all the guides all the teachings so all the books and of course first of all the crown of sagehood if you don't have too much time to clear out the whole event just buy out the crown of sagehood and the talent books for the characters that you need um maybe the Myst mystic enhancements or because you only do need one of these so i also do think that they are actually worth to buy out since uh weapons do scale a lot harder as soon as you reach world rank 7 so as soon as you reach world rank 7 you do need 
very you do need a lot of these and i do really mean a lot so you do need like over 370 to get your level to get your weapon from level 80 to level 90 so i definitely would stock these up for now if you are like adventure rank 45 or above and yeah that's already it for the shop so definitely buy out this but maybe you want to save this up except if you do really have your favorite character already and let's hop into the event as i said this is the first time that i'm doing this so let's do this in co-op already Yeah, so I do think that you can clear this event way faster if you do it in co-op, so I don't want to show it in single player. It works basically the same as the Elemental Crucible event. If you guys don't know the Elemental Crucible event, uh, it was the event that you uh, was able to... It was the last event that has this kind of co-op. Oh, alright, okay. There are like these blue fields where you have to press T. So yeah, as I said, it is basically as the elemental crucial we end. Just look for these spots and press T. So you submit the energy to fill the bar um, above the timer. So all you have to do, run around, kill these enemies, find these spots. Press T, but while you're doing this, you cannot fight, as you can see. So it does take quite some time. So it's actually not the same like the event that we got last week because we don't have to stay in this circle. All we have to do is to submit the energy that we are collecting. So just stand here, press T, and while you're doing this you cannot move and you cannot attack. Okay, so we just finished the event. Now just go to this, loot, and you're done. So what you really have to notice is that the uh, host can't kick you, so you may want to do this very fast. Luckily, you don't have to collect any things that are on the bottom. So maybe you want to left the world right now. Yeah, so... What I just wanted to say is that you have to be very fast after you clear the event, the host actually can't kick you, so you may waste some time. So what I would recommend if you do this in co-op and it is, it is not in your world, try to loot this as fast as possible after you clear the event, otherwise the host can kick you. So I don't know, I know that this is not a good behavior, but it definitely can happen if you do this with random people. You can also do this in single player if you want to. Um, I don't think that the event is actually too hard. So what I do know by now is that this only does scale with your world level to a certain point. So you cannot really um, decide between different um, levels of this and you get 50. So I do think that this scales to a certain amount of to a certain adventure rank and Let's say if you're like adventuring 20, you definitely don't get 50 of these. I do think you get way less, but it does scale. I don't know the exact scales for now because I am adventuring 47. Uh, but what I definitely do think is I do think like the peak will be around 35 or 40. So if you can play with a player at adventuring 40, they have a lower world rank than you. If you are like the same rank as me, so if you're like around 45 plus, you definitely can go for people that are adventuring 40 and then you get the same amount of these stars but with enemies that are only world level 5 so you have enemies that are easier to fight but you get the same amount so i definitely recommend to do this in co-op with players that are a lower adventure rank but that have the rewards at the maximum yeah um i think that's all that i have to say for the fallen star event uh, if you guys enjoy, subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact content and I'll see you guys next time.
If you guys want to see more Genshin Impact content videos should pop up on the screen right now, make sure to check them out and I thank you for your support.